Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. Um, this is an extra video I'm making because today my second diamond painting came in. After waiting for a long time to get it from AliExpress. Um, so just a disclaimer, this is a uh, channel that's dedicated to hobbies. Um, all the videos in on this channel are meant for adults and are not in any way, shape or form made for or directed at children. Now, as most of you know, if you've been with me a long time, I am a major Marilyn Monroe fan and have been for over, well, 30 years now. So, I ordered a Marilyn Diamond painting kit and this is the one I got. So, this picture is based on, is a photograph by Milton H. Green. I'm pretty sure they probably haven't got the rights for it, but I don't know. So, they might have. This cost under three, well, under four pounds to purchase, um, including the shipping. It was very cheap, which is why I got it. I wasn't going to get it because it's a really small um, size. As you can see, it says at the top here, it's 30 by 40. And I normally wouldn't get that size on for a person because it's very small on the um for the details but because it was so cheap i thought i'll get it see how i like doing it because the backgrounds on portrait ones are going to be as you see very much the same color there are, th uh, there are i think it's 34 packets of the the dark color the black for the background um so yeah so i thought we would take a look at it i've got all the thing i've got the piece of paper and I have checked it off that they're all here so I've got my key now last time I put them all into tubs but this one because there's so much black um, on it I'm going to start at this top corner and if I can get the camera to angle correctly I'm going to do it like that uh, um, we'll do a little bit of it today but I'm going to have to move the camera around just to, to get it all in now I do mine on a funny angle I'm not going to lie so yes, this is what's called the ballerina sitting. And the original image was by uh, Milton H. Green, who took a lot of photographs of her. Um, if you look at some of the videos I posted previously, you'll actually find a flip through of a book of his photographs called The Essential Marilyn. So, I'm just uh, getting the first boatload of diamonds because I thought I might as well just take them all out um, for this because it, there's so much of this black space as you can see. So the boat is a bit wonky, I'm not going to lie, it's not a brilliant boat. I might even go get my other boat from the last one. It comes with the usual stuff, um, obviously the, the canvas which has got this plastic covering on it rather than the paper one we had on the other one um, all the diamonds all numbered lovely and of course the proof the plan so I'm going to start oh she says tipping a boatload everywhere I am not the best person at being organized at doing this and the one thing I found when we did the collie, which is now being framed, is that it was very, it's very difficult to actually film because of the angles. So for instance, I've just pulled this tiny bit of the corner off. This is right on the edge of the table. I'm right on the edge of the table. And I've put the camera on a different angle because I, I like to work with mine sideways on. It's just the way I am. Um, but I do have to get very close out because you can barely see, and we zoomed in all the way, the difference, in the gaps, the gap between the individual gems or the diamonds, where they go. Now I only have a one drill. I don't have any extras. So if you can see my head, I do apologise. So 
it is very very difficult to get in on that um i'm just looking for something with a straight edge i just really haven't got anything so there we go so oh it's very good it's going to be very awkward this one i think because of the how far away it is as you can see I know you guys seem to like watching these but I've got to be honest my eyesight is not the best and I, I need to get right up close to to see them um, as you can see they're going on very slowly but I thought we'd have a look, quick look at it so the num the letters the the key is very easy to read. It's not like it's difficult, even though. It's just trying to get it on the edge without putting it too far over the edge. Do you know what I mean? I'm trying to get them straight is a nightmare. Well, it's quite nice. It moves around quite easily on there. Because what I thought I'd do is I'd do this one, and then if I like doing the person one, I'd get a bigger Marilyn one. But uh, I'd get one to, uh, much bigger, and I know what picture I want as well. So. Yeah, it's going to take a long time again. This one, I think. Um, it's been a while since I've done any diamond painting because I finished the other one a while ago, and this one took a lot longer to come than the first one. Um, so, but I was really pleased with the way the collie came out, so, although I will admit when it got towards the end of the collie I started getting a bit bored with it, and I was like, I don't know if I could be doing this too much, so I will be doing them, but I don't think I'm going to do it as much as I do, say for instance, I don't know if you can see my, my head when I go down like that because I can't actually tell. No, I don't think you can actually. <laughs> I've still got this terrible cough. It's just not going. So, this one's going to be quite fun. Now, there are actually 29 different colours of diamonds on this one picture. And this boat being all skewed is not helping. It's like bent, it's got bent in transit, I think. Um, so as you can see, it's going to be very boring for me and for you doing it like this. But hey, who? I'll soon get back up to speed. It's because you can't see on these, these dark colours, the line in between the squares I should get a round one really I've never done a round one so now I'm out of focus there we go as you see we are doing the checkerboard because it is such a big section of background um, that this photograph has a very big black background so but I think I am going to get my other boat out and uh, use the other boat just because this one is not flat and every time I pump it one up it just wobbles. So if you can see any part of me, so for instance you can see my arm at the moment it's because I'm leaning on it because I've got to get close up to it. I think it'll look lovely because these black gems are quite sparkly, these black diamonds. So I think they'll look really nice. So I am slowly getting back into it. But as you can see, it's going to take me a long old time to, to do. And it's not the easiest to, to film. I am looking at getting a overhead tripod, um, you know, an overhead mount. Um, so I can film on my phone. It might be a bit easier. I'm not 100% sure whether it will. 
but it might be easier for colouring as well. So I'm thinking of getting that. As I said, this is a very, very boring background. But, uh, okay. part of me wishes I had a multi-placer. That's what they're called, multi-placers. I don't have one. Oops, see, I just picked that up and they just spat everywhere because it's not flat. The boat's not flat. No. So anyway, I just wanted to show you this. As you can see, I'm going in that focus. So my head must be going into camera range. So I do apologise if that is the case. Um, so it's, it is one of my favourite pictures of her, I, I think, this one, as you can see. But what it'll actually look like once it's complete, I don't know. It'd be interesting to try and find out. Well, obviously I'll find out, but... I don't want to do too much diamond painting because I find it takes up too much of my colouring time. But it didn't give me any um, tweezers in this one. Which is a shame because I did use, I found I did use the tweezers in the last lot, look quite a bit. It's got the usual red wax. Which I use until I, I lose it and then I go on to using the blue tack. I hope you've been enjoying my colouring videos. I know there are there are getting to be quite a few of them at the moment. We, we I'm doing a lot of colouring, trying lots of new different things, which is great. So you'll be seeing lots of me. Oh, I'm going to try this, and I'm going to try that. <laughs> it, you know, it's if you're on, on my uh, Andrew's Attic group, you will have seen um, a photograph of when this came in along with the new Colour in Heaven book, which has arrived a week early. And um, a 10 set of Neo Colour 2s. Um, and I'll talk about those more when I do the haul at the end of the month, and um, why I only bought the 2 set, the 10 set rather. And uh, we will try and use them at some point in the future. Maybe on camera, maybe not. I don't know yet. It depends. I need to find a picture that I want to use them on. So, But we'll talk about those in the haul at the end of the month. And I'll tell you why I bought them and why I only bought the 10. I'm still waiting for the Arteza Everblend skin tones to come back in stock on their site. They did say two to four weeks. So it's been about a week and a half. So hopefully... Next week or the week after, they'll be in because I sold a personal item on eBay specifically so I'd have the money to get the skin tones. Thank you because I really want the skin tones, and once when we get them, we'll we will swatch them out um, on camera. And again, when I get the grey ones, which I will get, even though I'm not a big grey person. I'm not big on greys. I'll swatch them out as well so we can see all the different greys. But I do want to have all the different colours. And I know that the skin tones is something I'm going to use a lot of. So having the set is going to help. Yeah, this, I don't like this boat. I do not like this boat at all. Mm. So as you can see, there is a lot of this black colour on it, it's like the whole background, it, there's tons of it, it's all up here as well, down here. So I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and just do all of this, I'm, I'm going to do a bit of it tonight, I'm just going to show you a bit of it, and I'm, I'll probably do a fair bit of the background, um, as much as I can, and then I might come in and do a video when we're, we're do, actually doing Marilyn herself. But obviously I've got to do the get to her first. So um, I might cut this into three strips. I think. Um, I haven't decided yet. So as you can see, like, it's taken me 15 minutes just to do this tiny little section. Um, 
that I don't like this boat because the boat the boat is not flat at all it's like It's awful, so I will be getting the other boat out. My plan was just to use up one packet of the 34 packets of the black backgrounds. Because then I don't have to find something to put them in. At the moment. Because I haven't got any tubs. So. There we go. And there's a lot of them. And they're just not, <coughs> they're not spreading properly in the, um, sorry, I kicked the camera in the boat at all. So I may well go and get the um, other boat in a bit and, uh, and also get one of the more empty tubs and um, start filling the colours up. I've got some baggies. I haven't got many, but I've got some. Let's say up here at the top, as the, as the product is a manual drilling machine method, there may be some missing diamonds. If the situation occurs, please contact us and we'll reply to you within 24 hours until you are satisfied. So at least they got good customer service, which is good. So, I mean, I've only done that. I'm going to go another four minutes or so, and then I'll stop this video. And then what I'll do is, next time I show you this painting, It'll be when we're on Marilyn's face and we'll have a chat and do that. So that might be a couple of weeks yet because I am at the moment going mad on my colouring. I'm still trying to finish off my what time is it? Um, Hannah Lynn picture from the Steampunk Special Colouring Heaven. Um, of course the new Colouring Heaven book's in so I really want to start on that because it looks lovely. Uh, yeah, there will be a flip through of that coming soon, but I'm not going to put it up straight away because it's it's just too long. I'll probably put it up on the weekend. I'm sure there'll be other versions of it up by then, but, you know, I, I, I know that it's not fair on those people who can't actually get out and get it. I mean, it's just luck that Karen and Heaven have sent them out from the warehouse and the postal service is delivering them early but it is a very nice one. It'll be lovely for pencils rather than markers, which will be nice. So as you see, this is going to take a very long time just to do this background. So. It is nice and peaceful because Paul and Jennifer are in bed. <coughs> A nice peaceful evening. I mean, it's late. It's about half past ten when I'm filming this. And I get up at ten to six in the morning. But I find if I go to bed early, if I go to bed like at half nine, ten o'clock, half ten, I'm awake at four and I can't get back to sleep. And the last couple of nights I haven't been sleeping very well either because of my cold. So I'm just thinking I might as well just stay up late. And then hopefully fall asleep. When I actually do go up to bed. Anyway, I'm going to call it a day there because as you can see, I've only done this one corner. It's been 20 minutes. It's not very exciting for you. I'm just going to finish off this little bit. Finish off these. Replace the boat. I don't know if you can see how wonky it is. But when I shake them, oh, I just tip them everywhere. Do you see what I mean? It's so thing. Anyway, it's very wonky. Um, <coughs> I'm gonna call it a day. Um, if you've enjoyed this and do wanna see some more of me doing this Marilyn picture, just let me know and I'll uh, I'll do some more, but like I said, I'll do it when we get to her face, which has got the, I don't know if you can see, 
the wonky boat yeah you can see it there look how wonky that is um yeah so just leave me a comment if you've enjoyed this and i'll see you all soon with another coloring video bye